Welcome back to Nice of the Old Republic. I'm Sugudu. And last time, uh, uh, last time, uh, we crash landed on this planet called Terrace. Who, and it's apparently, uh, based off of Karth's information, is uh, under control by the Sith. Or at least, like, and there's like three parts of it. There's like this part that we're on, and then there's like the lower city, and then there's the under city, I think. I don't know, but there's a store somewhere around here. Oh, here we are. Somebody's name is Larim. Uh, I don't care what your name is, I'm not telling you mine. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Larim. My name is Peter Quill. When I need to purchase one of those new energy shields, the latest thing, no, very high tech, nice. Uh, what's the good about these energy shields? This was blaster bolts, it's pretty handy in a fight. Shield even protects against lightsabers. Shields aren't perfect, uh, they can only absorb so much energy jams before they burn out. Iron blasters will take basic dueling shield down pretty quick. And I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand to hand and melee combat. Hmm, where did this technology come from? Yep, Naruto the Sith came. Shields are very expensive. Hand out entire army. Uh, yeah, the shields are striking. You take out a whole battalion of soldiers armed with conventional glasses. I'm like, reading what they say. Just in case if you don't feel like reading, or at least like trying to like, I guess, summarize it. Uh, so it gave the Sith an advantage, uh, but it wasn't long before the Republic was able to know what they're doing and copy the same powers as the energy shields. Besides, I'm scrambling to come up with new weapons uh, to defeat the shields. Uh, but until then, you're, you're gonna see mainly melee combat. Anything else? <clears throat> hmm. Managed to get his hands on one of those shields. Alright, so it's a store. Why do you have a kiosk set up here? So it's basic equipment to illegal aliens. Then you have the apartments. You mentioned something about illegal aliens living here. Most aliens aren't allowed to live here in the upper city. Uh, they only allow a few Twi'leks up there, up there. Seems only for the most part. Self-respecting human would want to live there, so the landlord has been renting out the apartments illegally to aliens. Some people like to uh, take 40 in the abandoned apartments, they don't pay rent. Aren't you worried about getting caught? <laughs> so, Terrence authorities uh, pretty much are ignoring them. A few illegal aliens are really bothering them. The most the Sith took over, they got the same money. He doesn't live here, he just runs a small business. Uh, I want to ask you some questions first. Apparently he doesn't want to answer some questions of mine. He's, he's, he's saying a lot here. Alright, let's see what he's got for sale. You might see a cut. Let me just let me just see what he's got for sale. I'm gonna wait until I get more credits to uh, then uh, get some stuff. Actually, I need to give Kyth some armor. Not questions. Not questions. I'll give this to him for now. Alright, let's start busting into people's skips, people's spots. Who are you? What are you doing in here? Uh, sorry, I was just investigating the area. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. 
But at least you're more polite than that pig, Holden. Holden? Who's that? Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Nice, Too bad I'm nice. the one still paying the price. Boo! What do you mean? I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. Um... If you can trust me, maybe I can Well, help. I suppose you seem like an alright sort. Yeah, When I it cut works. Holden, it made him back off. But it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. Uh, is there anything I can do to help? I doubt it. Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. Hmm. Maybe I could speak to Holden for you. You could try, I guess. He usually hangs out at the cantina in the lower city. It probably won't do any good. Holden's used to getting his own way. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darvik. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. Still, I appreciate the offer. I'll I ask can't you some help questions. You there. Since this thing with Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. I don't know anything about what's going on in the outside world anymore. Is it? Okay, I'll Goodbye be and good luck. I hope. Journal entry. Alright, now, do you got some stuff in here? Oh, we got a bag. Nice. It's got some credits. Nice. Alright, next place! Ooh, duos. Oh. Oh yeah, we fought some people outside, yeah. I almost forgot about that. Oh, hideout. Oh yeah, hideout. Duh. Oh yeah, the janitor. There's a janitor. Actually, wait. Did we talk to the janitor? Oh, hello again. Hope you didn't come to make a complaint about the mess in the building. I keep asking for an assistant, but they expect me to do it all on my own. Oh, okay. I should get back to it. I guess we did speak to that guy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hmm. <laughs> um. Just you... Oh, it's nothing. Oh, did I already speak to them? I might have spoken to them off camera. I don't remember. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think I might have talked to some people off camera, just to do a little bit more work, trying to get ahead for a little bit. Yes, fast. Oh, journal entry added. What? When? Got Kai's home, was attacked by the Sith, and he was reluctant to talk about it. Oh, something seems to be bothering Kai. Maybe, maybe I talked to him in the. Sh I don't remember. It's been a while since I played. I'll speak to you. Yes. Kai. What's on your mind? Uh, is this a good time to ask you some more questions? I guess I did say you could ask me questions later. Didn't you? Is this really necessary? <clears throat> I just would like to know you better. Oh, well, if it's an interrogation you wanted, why don't you say so? But this isn't an, an interrogation. I never said well, that. I was just joking. Though you do seem to be full of questions. It's rather refreshing, to be honest. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. I wasn't in a position to know what was going on, really. Neither was I, to tell the truth. I was on board as an advisor for the most part. The battle began so fast it's anyone's guess as to what actually happened. We lost the ship and a lot of good people. And for what? In the hope that the Jedi powers would save us somehow? Not that Bastila had much of an opportunity to act. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic? Well, what about you? It's surprising that you're here. You should be just as surprised that you are here. <clears throat> I'm a scout. I was recruited into the fleet for my skills, if you must know. Well, that makes sense. Still, it seems a bit strange that someone who is a last-minute addition to the crew roster is one of the survivors. What's so odd about me being added to the crew at the last minute? You were the only one. Not to mention that Bastila's party was the one who requested your transfer. Why would Bastila request my transfer? The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and 
this is probably nothing. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. <clears throat> I'm telling you, Garth. I had nothing to do with the crash, all right? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. I've got no real reason to suspect you of anything. It wasn't me. It's better to be safe than You know, I got lawyers and stuff. It wasn't me. Uh, you know we're on the same side, right? Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. <clears throat> I don't trust anyone. And I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? <clears throat> yes, let's do that. Good. Like I said before, I prefer action to talk anyway. Okay. Journal entry added. Although he has agreed to work with you, you've learned that Garth is suspicious and mistrustful of others. There's probably a reason behind his mistrust. Yes, possibly. Aha! A fellow human. No. Why am I using a blaster rifle? I like dual wielding. I want to dual wield. Garth, can I have your uh, blaster? <laughs> can I have your blaster pistol, please? Let me have your blaster pistol. There we go. Hello. Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop. <laughs> Hands in the air. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kevin. Okay, Lager. now you put them down. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. <clears throat> you looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, most, I, got, I, got, most, I like the droid just walking that? in the, the background. The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons, and they impounded all my ships and oh, swing bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Uh, I want to ask you some questions first. Anything I can do to help a potential customer out. What do you want to know? Uh, do you know anything about those escape pods that crashed here on Terrace? I heard a couple of pods crash down in the Undercity. I bet the uh -oh. crash sites have already been stripped clean by the Sith, though. Unless the Swoop Gangs or Davix men got there first. Swoop Gangs? Well, what can you tell me about them? I don't have anything good to say about those Swoop Gangs. Zooming around on their Swoop bikes, terrorizing the lower city like a bunch of animals. Things weren't so bad when the Hidden Vex were running the show. But ever since the rise of the Black Volker Gang... <laughs> The lower city has been nothing short of a war zone. The Sith haven't even bothered trying to maintain order down there. And I heard a rumor that Davik's own people are having problems with the Black Vulkers now. Hmm. Uh, what do you know about Davik? Oh, Davik's a legitimate businessman. <clears throat> if you get my drift, smuggling, slaving, extortion. Mm -hmm. They say he's a member of the Exchange, mm -hmm. you know, the big intergalactic criminal organization. Hmm. Well, I've heard of the Exchange. That organization to cross. But if anyone has blockade breaking ships, however, it's them. I have to pay them a protection fee every month, but it's reasonable. And I get most of my inventory through Davik and his suppliers. So I'm just smart enough not to ask where it came from, you understand? Okay. <clears throat> Uh, is Davik working with the Sith? Davik hates the Sith as much as anybody. <laughs> well, they're good. Quarantine has put a real dent in his operations, too. But he's keeping a low profile as long as the occupation lasts. Walking, 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 Davik walking, stays walking, out of the walking, way, walking, walking. and the Sith don't bother him. The Swoop Gangs could learn a thing or two from this tidy little arrangement instead of always going after each other. Okay, uh... I was... I was wondering how you, how you feel about this. You know, the Sith are like uh, terrorizing everybody. Sith are uh, killing innocent people. But how do you feel about the Sith? Uh, it's not smart to say bad things about the people in power. If We're in secret, don't worry. I just wish the Sith would ease up on the quarantine. Though. They're killing my business. I can't say I like having them here in Upper City, but it could be worse. And we're still a lot better off than the Lower City, what with those swoop gangs and all. Okay, I need some general information on Terrace. Oh, you're one of those off-worlders, aren't you? Yes, Come to Terrace for a short business trip and end up stuck here because of the Sith quarantine, right? Oh, you can't be too happy. Trapped on an unfamiliar world and all. But Terrace isn't so bad, as long as you stay in the upper city. Just try to avoid the Sith. Well, I and can stay take out of the lower I city. I can take them. The swoop gangs are totally out of control. Even Davik's men are having trouble down there. All right, uh, I'll be going now. Good day to you then. Uh, remember to come back to my shop if you ever need any supply. I want to see what she has in store. Welcome actually, hold to on. The Ooh, Sith sniper rifle. Oh, it's fifteen freaking hundred goddamn freaking credits. I usually like to find stuff on the ground or off of enemies, off of like footlockers or something that I can use. 
Uh, I don't remember buying too much stuff in this, but I bought what I wanted to. Don't bother me. I'm here on official Sith business. Okay. Fine. You say it. It's pumping in here. <laughs> don't you just love watching the Kazakh players? All that strategy, all those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed. Hey, okay. Body Wong, have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taurus? <laughs> Alright, anybody else want to talk to me? Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military base much time off. Um, uh, you're from the military base? You don't look like one of the Sith. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. I My see. name is Sana. Junior officer, first class with the Sith Occupation Force. Cool. Uh, nice to meet you, Sana. I'm Peter Quill. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Taris can't stand us Sith. It can make this job pretty lonely. Oh, that's, that's sad. You can't really blame people when I mean, you did conquer the planet. Oh, great. I see where this is going. The Sith are evil. Why did I join them? Blah, blah, blah. I, I... Uh, sorry. I'm not trying to judge you. <sighs> it's okay. I might have overacted a bit, but can you blame me? Everywhere I look, I see one of you Teresians glaring at me with hate in your eyes. I'm actually not from Taos, I'm just stuck here until the quarantine ends. You're an off-worlder. <laughs> I figured you'd be even more <coughs> angry being stuck on a foreign planet and all. Being stuck on Taos isn't so bad, but locals aren't much fun. You know, it's like everyone on this backwater planet is in a permanent bad mood. Don't they know we have to make the best of things? Hmm. <laughs> Everybody has their ups and downs. It's how you deal with them that counts. Exactly. It's all about attitude. I didn't ask to be assigned to this backwater planet, but I try to make the best of it. It's pretty easy to get depressed on an assignment like this, but we do what we can to keep our spirits up. You need to blow off some steam once in a while. That's true. You know? It's nice to meet someone who understands what I'm going through. It's good to talk about this stuff. It gets pretty lonely up at the military base. I have to get going soon. I've got a shift at the military base, but some of us junior Sith officers are having a party tonight to blow off some steam. I'd really like to see you again. Why don't you drop by the party? I'll show you where it is on your map. Really? Uh, sounds good. I'll be there. Don't be late. We're starting right after our ships end. Most of us won't even be going back to the base to lock up our uniforms. I look forward to seeing you there. My, uh, my headset batteries are there. Let me just plug them in real quick. There you go. <coughs> Entry added. Invited to a party. You've been invited to a party by one of the Sith. According to the directions on your data pad, they're getting together at an apartment on the east side of the north upper city. <coughs> no, to see mobile. Why are you speaking to me? Can't you tell from my clothing that I'm of the nobility? No. Get away from me. I can't be seen talking with a common rabble. It wouldn't be proper for a man. Okay, whatever. Nice outfit. I've seen outcasts in the undercity. Yeah, that lower city is nothing but a. You aren't from Terrace, are you? Nice outfit. Random people talking. Yeah, that lower city. Random people Isn't saying things. Things. Everyone's worried the Sith will come in here and shut this place. Well, it's bad enough the Sith conquered this place. Random people the talking. Relax. What? Get Oops. away from me. Uh, that's the same guy. <laughs> No hard feelings, my good man, but I can't really talk with you right now. It's difficult enough to draw the interest of the ladies in this establishment as it is. Surely you understand what I'm talking about. Okay. I'd guess you've experienced many lonely evenings. Something I'm hoping to avoid tonight. Okay, and we're just trying to talk to some people. Okay. Everyone's worried that it's bad enough to sit conquer this place. Do they have to come in here, relax, and love their cousins and places? I'm sorry, I'm too busy to talk. I've got to get these drink orders to the customer. Where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? And where are those drink... Uh, sorry, I'm not your waiter. Careful what you say. I get the feeling this spoiled brat could cause us more trouble than she's worth. Why is oh, the good. help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy and I could get you fired. Daddy? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, don't get upset. I'll go That's get better. that drink. Now, hurry up with our order. And here are your drinks, Miss Lavin. I apologize for the delay. 
<laughs> That's what. Paris isn't such a bad place. I've... I'm not here. Says Pedrin. I just finished a long. Not quite. I wish the off dude. It's a good thing I feel I'm just trying to like see if I could get some information from people. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Gurlon Two Fingers. He has and over here, more than two looking fingers. Looking to climb the ranks yet again is the ever persistent Dead Eye Duncan. <laughs> and to nobody's great surprise, Dead Eye is down again. Don't worry, folks. He's just unconscious. As just you know, unconscious. Our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner. <laughs> Girl on two fingers. Oh, guy, he dropped his freaking pistol. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, look at that. I love watching ice in the ring. Is there anything more exciting than a woman who's armed and dangerous? Okay. What do you have to say? Twitch is my favorite. He's wild. Twitch? Oh. What the hell are you talking about? Okay, goodbye then. <laughs> okay. What are you looking at, fresh meat? You want a piece of me? You want to step in the dueling chambers with me? Uh, who are you? I'm Dead Eye Duncan, the number five ranked duelist in this cantina. You must have seen me in the dueling chambers, right? Uh, you're number, you're the number five ranked duelist. Uh, out of how many? Uh, five. But it's an elite group, okay? It's not like just anyone can step into the dueling chamber. Well, actually, anyone can, but not many do. Dueling chambers? You know, the dueling chambers. Two people in combat, loser gets carried out unconscious on a stretcher. It's the only reason people come into this part of the cantina. Look, I'm the number five ranked duelist around here. I don't have time to explain all this. Go talk to the duel organizer if you're interested. Goodbye. Yeah, that's right. I haven't seen you around here before. You looking to step into the duel ring? Uh, I want to step into the ring. Well, actually, I want to ask you some questions first. I time to answer your question. Well, fine. You seem to be hang Good to see some new blood in the fight. If you're serious about this... Wait. Ice. I know what you're going to say. I'm so beautiful. I'm so attractive. How can someone who looks so hot with a weapon in her hand be called I? I'm here to take care of business in the dueling ring. Not to have some slack... Huh. <laughs> Wow, that was cold. Now you know why <laughs> you're ice. If you're looking for a match, go talk to Azure. He's that big hut over there in the corner. Otherwise, I want to ask you some again. question. Didn't you get the message? Oh, I guess I can't. Hello there, Offworld. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Marl. I'm one of the duelists here at the Duncan, worst duelist ever. His nickname is Dead Eye because he fights like he's blind. I wouldn't worry about him. Gurlon used to be pretty good before the accident. His blaster overheated during a match and exploded. One in a million occurrence. Paralyzed three fingers on his right hand. They call him Gurlon Two Fingers now. He hasn't been the same since the accident. But he's still out here trying to earn a living. That's why I never fight with blasters. Ice? Well, she's not much for personality. But she's a hell of a fighter. Confident, steady. Popular with the crowd, too. If you go up against her, you know you're in for a tough match. Twitch? I think that Rodian is completely crazy, but he's very, very good despite his insanity. Or maybe because of it. Even I can't beat him. Me? Well, I've seen my share of battles. 
My best years are gone. But I can still hold my own against anyone in here. What can I say? Bendak was a legend. Never lost a match his entire career. But he was bloodthirsty as an Iridorian battle rager. Never liked having to face the same opponent twice. Got so he wouldn't battle anyone unless it was a death match. When they made death matches illegal, he went into retirement. Bendak's the best there ever was. Plain and simple. Even now, I'd bet that anyone who steps into the ring with him wouldn't make I wanna, I wanna, I wanna fight, I wanna fight. Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> Fibroblades and blasters, and nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? Energy suppressor fields to make sure nobody dies. So they got medics and none of the weapons. They hurt, but they don't kill. I'll do it, but I want more than 10%. Gosh dang it. Uh, let me try to see if I can, uh, do it again. Dang it. I want to do it again. Do it again. What are you talking about? Skip. Uh, 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 fine, I'll do it. Good nickname for you. <laughs> My name is Peter Quill. I think that sounds better than the nickname. This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew manifest back on the end of spire. Maybe, actually, that's true. Uh, I want to ask you some questions. Fine, I'm ready for a duel. Alright, let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this <laughs> time he's after fresh meat. In this corner, I give you Dead Eye Duncan. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the terrace dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name the mysterious stranger. Alright, let's do this, bitch. Grab a shot, bitch. Ho ho ho! Aha! Got him! It's over! The fight is over! Yay! Are any of us surprised? Yay, we did it. What do you want? Oh, let me guess. You beat me in the dueling ring, and now you're gonna rub it in my face. Well, I'll just be going. Oh, well. Yay, well, I hope it's. Ready for a duel. Let's do it. Another duel, baby. Another duel. In this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> and in the other corner, a relative new... Oh, this is what I like to do. I like to move around and then do this. I'm gonna throw a grenade. Got him. Uh, 
Gosh dang it. I'm taking out my blades. Taking out my blades. Let's do this. Whew. Oh, oh. <sighs> oh gosh dang it. Haha. -ha. Yeah! It's over! The fight! Gerlam losing to a rookie! Is this a sign that his injuries have finally caught up with him? Yeah, let's go. Let's go, yeah! Let me, uh, heal real quick. You beat me fair and square, stranger. But if I still had the use of my fingers, you wouldn't have won. Back before my injury... Yeah, sure. Sure. Actually, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? Kaith, uh, do you not mind if I, uh, borrow your armor real quick? Thank you! I don't have to credit now. Nice food duel. Ladies and gentlemen, over in this corner, a woman with steel on her bones and ice water in yeah, her I know. veins. I know who she Ice is. Golden quick as death hand in the other corner. Why are you shooting at the ground? Yoink! Alright. We're going sword time. How are you missing? I don't understand. How are you missing? Chloe! <laughs> okay, that took way too much damage. Look at it! Oh my god, just hit her! The stranger what? What? Alright. Getting kind of bored, to be honest. Leave me alone. I'm not giving out it. A... Audipens? What are you talking about? What? You don't recognize me? I'm Bendix Starkiller, the most famous blaster slinger on Taurus. Over 100 duels without a loss. Got every one of them. A... Um, how come you don't hang around with the other duelists? I'm retired now. Once death matches became illegal, I just got bored with the game. I got no interest in using well, stun blasters. Kind of there was no to challenge me anyway. I've seen you in the dueling ring, but you haven't impressed me. Now, if you could beat all these other pretenders, that might get my attention. I want to uh, ask you some questions. Since I'm not going to answer them, you'd just be wasting your. Okay. Off with you then. So. Let's uh, go to the shop. Let's freaking try this again. Bunch of med packs. Okay. Bitch. Let's try this again. 
Mirror rematch. Ladies and over in this corner, a woman with steel on her bones. We know who she is. <laughs> okay. Freaking god, dude. Is there anything? Is there any other blasts I got that are better? Freaking bullshit. Oh, damage to hit? Minus yeah, minus two. Actually give me a uh, cards give me the blaster rifle. I think you can have your You can uh, have your blaster pistol back. Yeah, it gives you a plus damage to hit anyways when dual wielding. Why didn't I think of that before? That's stupid of me. Alright. Now, I think I'm good. I'm doing it. There you go. That's what I like. Oh my god, shoot her! Shoot her! You have a bonus to hit! Okay, 13. That's more like it. There we go. Med pack. Get shit on! It's over. The fight is ice is knocked up. Fucking hell. Ladies this time. and gentlemen, draw oh, your that eyes guy. to the center. Legend in the sport, a 20 year Mar, veteran yeah. who still knows how to show the young kids, but there's always some. Ha! I got a shot at him. Yes! What? The strength Merle has. What? Oh, that was bullshit. Ladies, he's a legend in the sport, a 20 year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids, but there's always some. Get away from me! Get away! Oh! Okay, here's my strategy. I'm gonna run away from him. He seems to be a little bit slower uh, behind me. And then shoot at him. Hopefully, eventually, I'll be able to get get some damage off oh, like that, like that, and that, and that. Good start, good start, very good start, very lucky start, very lucky start. Hopefully, he will not hit me, and I need to run away quickly. Oh my God! Two lucky hits, and then he's just missing. Oh, there we go, a little bit of damage. Ah. Uh. Oh, that got him. Uh, mm. Okay, there we go. There we go. Halfway done. Well, maybe a little bit more than halfway done. Oh. It, that, that, like, 
the shot of opportunity when he just like stops and starts like walking. That's a good opportunity to shoot him. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh yes! There we go. Yes, yes, yes. The strategy is working. The strats are working. I just yes, that's a good shot. Good hit, good hit, good hit. One hit, one point of damage. It's it's, it's still damage. Oh, oh, uh, one point of damage again. Oh, eight points of damage. Oh, he's hurting. He's hurting. Come on, just shoot him. He's hurting. Shoot him. No, 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 no. All right, it was one hit. Okay, come on, come on. He's got so little damage left. Yes! Get played! The fight in Marl is Twitch is waiting in. Alright, Twitch, you're next. Yes, poison him. No! Freaking ah! Uh, I can do it! I can do it! I can do it! I can do this! I poison grenade him. He is taking damage. I can do this. I can do this. Ladies and hold on to your seats and stay back from the edges of the ring. He's wild, he's unpredictable, he's You know what, to avoid the uh, dialogue, I'm probably just gonna save right after this. Which is in this corner. Like, save now. There we go. So I can concussion grenade first. All oh, right, wait, hold on. Now's a now's a good opportunity to use my swords. He's right there. Why am I always missing? What's my? Oh my god, my my thing to hit is so low. Oh, there we go. That's much better. Haha. <laughs> Oh, come on! Why are you doing so much damage? Yes! The poison grenade worked! It's over! The fight which is rain of Yes! Is over. Yes, let's go. I'm glad I, got, I saved my poison grenades till now. Ready? What? Where am I like experience points? Oh, getting quite close. Paris man, the tonga book shall only burn. Car cobra kimun chuba gratok bendit star killer. Nice. Now I can talk to Bendak. Oh, wait, is that his name? Bendak Starkiller. All right, Bendak. Ready? Yes. I've been watching you on the dueling ring. 
It's not bad for an amateur. I'm tempted to come out of retirement, but I only fight in death matches. And not too many people are willing to step into the ring knowing they won't ever come out. Well, oh, Since I'm not going to answer... Gosh, dang it. Off with you, then. I've been watching you on the... But I only fight... Forget it. I'm not interested in a death match. Never figured you for a coward. If you ever get the gut to fight me, come on back and we can set the match up. Otherwise... Alright. If you say so. Oh. So I've got a bad Gavik situation Gavik says here. you missed your last payment. Here, I I've got 50 credits. A down payment. That's your fight. Sorry. You're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Gavik can't have people not paying. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? <laughs> no, help! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but are we gonna just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like no. we got ourselves a witness here. <laughs> Leave this man alone, or you'll have to deal with me. <laughs> I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from now. I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters. Up. Maybe I can help you. You already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters. So unless you have a spare 100 credits to give me so I can pay off Dab. He has 100 credits. Take them. You're giving me 100 credits? Just like that? I... I don't know what to say. You're giving him a hundred credits? Generous. Now I can pay off Davik. You've saved my life. Thank you. I'd bet... There we go. Now see, uh, the thing about this game is that I want to be in the neutral section here. I want to be neutral. I want to be... I want to maintain a balance. I don't want to be too good and I don't want to be too evil. I want to maintain a good balance. Uh, because that's what life is about. You just need that balance, you know? Sort of like Rey. Uh, she wanted to find that balance within herself. But she was also, like, uh, neutral, but more, a little bit more in the good section. That's what I want to be, too. <clears throat> Alright, let's, let me see what you guys got. I got 100 credits back anyway. <laughs> there we go. That's fine. Uh, that's fine. There we go. <sighs> Upper City North. Let's see what's over here. Okay. I'm just what's around here. Out of our way, citizen. Greetings and good day. I am a pentagon droid programmed. The Sith are the new authority. May I be of any fun? Alright, it's just the same. What's in here? There's apartments. Standard door. Two apartments, yes. I want to talk to some people. If I can get some missions. Child. You ever seen a swoop bike? I seen them at the races sometimes. No problem. They go fast Got it. lots of noise. Can I just say who has the better security here? It's going to It's going to one. Boys. Yeah. I'm just gonna check this in here. Cool. You ain't supposed to be here. This ain't your home. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Excuse me. Don't. Don't hurt my family. Look, just. I remember when a person didn't have to worry about thieves rummaging through their home. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I just need supplies for later in the game, okay? Hey, you made oh. it. Oh, it's a Sith party. Yeah. You were going to show. The party's in full swing. Come on in. You have five to people. Try this Teresian ale. It's fantastic. We should have conquered this planet ages ago. Careful, Sona. Oh, that one got quite it. the kick. A couple more bottles and we'll all be passed out on the floor. Who cares? We're not on duty tomorrow. Let's live a little. Come on, drink up. Where's the where's the music come from? 
<laughs> Just down on the floor. Okay. Well, that was interesting. I'm sorry. Sith armor. Yes? I am sorry. Don't worry, the armor is going to be used for later on. Do not worry. Can... Give me the spikes and the points I deserve! Who's this person? Taurus used to be a nice place before the Sith showed up and mm. started bossing us around. Ooh, foot locker. Ooh, more stuff. I like more stuff. I heard the gangs have overrun the lower okay. city. Why don't the Sith go down there and restore Nice, them? nice. Alright. Oh, no security door. No problem. Got it. Sorry. Oh, please. Please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have Dabak's money if he if he just gives me a little more time. Here, I've got 50 credits on me. That's all I've got. It uh, don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. You mean, you're not here to kill me? But I, I thought you were one of Dabak's bounty hunters. Well, maybe I could help you with your problem. I don't Davik. think anyone can help me. I owe Davik money, and I was late with the payment. So he went to Zach's in the bounty office and put a price on my head. I've been hiding here ever since. But sooner or later, someone will find me. Unless I... Um, don't worry. I won't tell anyone you hide. Thank you. You've saved my life. I don't... I don't want to... Give all of my money away. I already gave an old man a hundred, a hundred credits, but I need to save all my credits, you know, for other stuff that I need. Uh, eventually, I'm gonna try to save the world here. Might be, it might be a spoiler, but you know what? Whatever. And I also don't want to have my light side go up too much, so I did the second nicest thing I, I could do. Just don't tell anyone that he's there. Okay. You got any stuff here I can use? Oh, foot locker. Mm, cool. I'll just uh, take this and I'll be on my merry way. Okay, let's uh let's go outside. Sure. Oh man, I love this game. Again, this is a story-based game, so it's not as too action-based, really. Uh, just, just to tell you that, if you're waiting this to be like an action-based game, it isn't too much. Slavi's just walking around the upper city. Since you guys Laura says you belong, Slummy. Oh, this is rich. <laughs> yeah, like he said, these streets are for upper city citizens. You better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. Uh, you better you better think twice about what you're doing. This might be more than you can handle. Uh, come on, fellas. This sloppy ain't worth the bother. Uh, uh, yeah. I guess you're right. Maybe next time, sloppy. <laughs> come on, fellas, let's go. Come on, fellas, let's go. <laughs> My protection costs a double. People complain about the Sith, but I heard the gangs have overrun the lowest. Out of our way, Sith. Out of our way. Are there any people that talk to besides the freaking droid? This? Another off-worlder? Hey, I'm no alien. Friends and fellow humans, I bring you a warning. A wa my name is Gorton Kolu. Will you join my cause? We must band together if we are to stop the spread of vermin and scum. 
Uh, vermin and scum. Uh, what do you? Are you referring to the Sith? I am speaking of the hideous-looking aliens who walk the world of Taris. The Wookies and Ithorians and Rodians. That okay. Is why uh, I, that's Kodu, not what I was thought you were talking League. about. The time has come for action. I don't know which is worse, your hate mongering or or your ignorance. You are like all the rest. You will not see the truth. On the day of reckoning, you will suffer with the rest of the alien lovers. Come on, we should keep moving. Cook or no, people like him can make trouble for us. Look at these droids. Hello. A customer. So she has a store, she's at a service, uh, good to see you new face, uh, customers are hard to come by, uh, they refuse to shop at the store and buy a Twi'lek. What do they have against Twi'leks? They don't like aliens in the upper terrace, uh, they tolerate Twi'leks, but they'd rather see You'd think people would be a little more tolerant of others in this day and age. I guess stupidity and ignorance will never go out of style. Yeah, that's true. We'll see a few aliens around, non-humans stick to the lower city, and she's learned not to dwell. She's focused on running her story. The selection's a little bit limited. Uh, the Sith stole some of her droids, but she's got a utility droid. Utility droids? What do they do? They're going to make a vehicle repairs, pretty handy in a fight, tough with a surprising amount of fire. Oh, but a code breaker, a security system sliced around. Uh, let me see your droids. Only two droids left, we built two, three, eight, 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 Tell me about that top of the line T3M4 droid. Best utility droid ever built. Top notch code breaker, security. Okay, droid, he's got the firepower to be handy about it. Absolute top of the line, he's not for sale. It's a custom job, but only for a very special fire. The only thing about, about those escape pods that crash down the house. Few pods crash down in the undercity. Human error, droid, moose control, ship like that. I'm just wondering how you felt about the Sith. Don't think much of them. You came and seized most of the droids. You're afraid of some using the droids against them. Uh, I wanted to use the droids for self-benefit. Uh, no such thing as bad droids. Uh, I didn't get you either, though. I want some general information on Terrace. So if we have a city, you should be okay. You so don't do anything foolish or innocent. Bias against aliens. Most of the people are up here. It's tough to run the store. Would it recommend going to the lower city? Uh, because uh, Davik's down there and uh, there's a bunch of swoop gangs. Swoop gangs? What can you tell me about them? Yeah. I think about a bunch of thugs. Uh, things are bad. Things weren't so bad when the head of backs were in charge. You even sold some droids to them. Cool. Now the back walker gang is in charge of the lower city and now uh, this place is a war zone and it's a big shithole. What do you know about Davik? Dangerous man. Illegal on terror. If it's illegal on terror, he's got a hand in member of the exchange. Gosh dang it. My friend's still inviting me to a party. Crossed. Okay. Uh, let me see what you got to say. Uh, let me see your voice. Got a repair kit. Uh, what's my what's on my sell list? Hmm. Hmm. Um. We just sell the clothing. Gotta get rid of that. Combat suit. Don't need that. Long sword. Probably don't need that. Prototype type blade, blade, don't need those, don't need those, vibration cell, oh, melee, uh, well, we're not going to use any of those, what is, 
Oh, Constitution plus four. Oh, cool. Last episode, I'll get rid of one of them. I'll get rid of that. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna heal up real quick. Go back to the base. Return to the hideout. Okay, now let's see uh, what's this way. Let's see what's this way. Okay. Because I know there's a door over there, but like, I want to see what's over here. No problem. Didn't work. No problem. Didn't work. No problem. Didn't work. Damn. Nothing is impossible if you believe. <laughs> okay. The elevator is off limits. Only Sith patrols and those with proper authorization are allowed into the lower. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols. So unless you have. Uh, where can I get authorization papers? If you were supposed to have them, you'd know where to get them. Now quit waiting. <laughs> Can I ask you some questions? I'm not here to give you information. I work for the Sith, not the TARDIS. Dang it. Alright, so remember that, uh, Sith battle armor that I got? Now's the time to use it. Another patrol heading down to the lower city, eh? Well, good luck. You better watch yourself. Those gangs will take a shot at anyone, even us. It's too bad we don't have... Nice. I'm getting a lot of experience points. Like, Jesus. Look at me in that armor. <laughs> oh, yeah, what are my experience points? Oh, kind of close. Yeah, into the lower city we go! Okay. Let me put on my other armor now. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Gara dumpa kunpa ye ya moka pa ata. Vex are stupid, Volkas are strongest. Ichuta, nun patisa. So she who's strongest. Oh! That's, yeah, like a stun baton or something. Ooh. No strangers. Alright, first, we save. There we go. Alright. Attack! 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 No! Gosh dang it. Gosh. That was rough, that was rough. Hold on, let me, let me, I wanna finish this battle and then I will end the video. Let's try using the swords. Yes. Oh. Oh, ha ha. Have at you. Get them. Get them. Yes. Let's go. What? Sometimes you just gotta switch to um, melee weapons in this game because like you never know what's gonna happen. You never know what's gonna happen. Shit, did I sell my last rifle? I sold my last rifle, didn't I? God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. How many more sure. how many credits do I have? Actually wait, I'm a freaking scout. I shouldn't be using the blast rifle. Got a vulgar shock stick. Look at that. <clears throat> Alright, well, I might do some more battles off camera. But, 
Okay, this was good at- oh wait, more remains. Oh cool, nice, good cash and grenades. Well, this is gonna be the end of this episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Thank you for watching this video. I'm very excited to keep on going with this story. And I wish you all stay cool, stay classy, with the Duke, and I'll be here while I'm out. Just pick up the shit real quick and without further ado, see you all in the next video.